Welcome everyone, tonight we are taking a look at the Winkle 5 quart stainless steel bowl. I've been using this bowl for the past couple weeks for whipping egg whites, mixing batters, all these tasks requiring an electric mixer, which tends to be a little rough on bowls. As you can see from the marks and the scratches, I did not go easy on it, and it's been holding up very well. In this video, I'm going to be covering three parts. First, I'm going to go over the specifications. Second, I'm going to show you a quick demo. And finally, I'm going to go over functionality. So let's begin with some measurements. This mixing bowl measures 10 and 5 16ths of an inch in diameter. It has a height of 4 and 1 half inches. It has a brushed stainless steel finish on the inside and a mirror finish on the outside. For our demo, we're making some pastry dough to make some churros. And it's time to incorporate the eggs. We're going to use our electric mixer with the dough hooks to get started. And then we'll switch to something. got to the scrambled egg-like texture, we're ready to whisk it for the rest of the way. And this is what we're aiming for. Next we're going to take all of this, get into a piping bag, and make some churros. Moving on to the last part of our video, functionality. What I like most about this mixing bowl, the height. It's got these tall sides so that when you're working with an electric mixer, it doesn't send splatter all over the place. You don't have to clean the countertop and you don't end up with food on your shirt. The next aspect I liked, it's sturdy. This bowl, as hard as I try, look, I cannot get this to flex. I can't get it to bend. And that's important because when you're working with metal utensils, when you're working with an electric mixer, you want a bowl that's sturdy and thick enough so it doesn't get damaged. And finally, I like the brush finish. And this might seem like a minor detail, but when you're hitting the surface with metal utensils or blades, you're going to get scratches. You can get all these little scratches, and the brush finish makes it so that they don't stand out as much. To sum things up, if you're looking for a sturdy, durable mixing bowl, something that will hold up to metal utensils, or pretty much just about anything else you throw at it, this mixing bowl has been working great in my kitchen, and I would highly recommend it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to let me know in the comment section and I will get them answered for you.